One of the hardest things is always setting up one of these studio recorders because they're so heavy. That's red brass. So on the record, it's very heavy and you have to get everything balanced. The amount of tension on this, everything is very difficult. This is a self-made five inch record that I had molded using the outer casing it was a beaker and the inside is a, another mandrel of the phonograph. So I had to do a considerable amount of reaming to have it fit on the phonograph. And also it was a little thin, so we will not be able to play it back on the Edison machine, but we will play the cylinder with our little recordings and mistakes and all, because technically I don't believe there's another uh, test of a studio recorder on a five inch record anywhere on the internet. So hopefully this is the first time that a late model studio recorder, I know some advanced collectors have probably never seen a head like this. This is an advanced ball. And uh, the diaphragm and the stylus, of course, are new. When I got it, it was just the body. But it is an original uh, studio recorder from between 1903 and into the 1920s for vertical recording. And it came from one of the studio cylinders companies. Not sure which one. Could be Columbia. It may even be Edison. It could be Albany Indestructible or U.S company so we will be recording some on it with it we're just going to record a little excerpt of uncle josh plays a game of baseball so we'll give it a good try here i can't guarantee that it's going to be great because uh this is a very heavy head but we'll give it a go so i'm going to put the speed as fast as it will go here this machine does not go 160, so we'll record just a little bit of Uncle Josh in the baseball game. Uncle Josh Weathersby plays a game of baseball by Mr. Sean Borey. <laughs> I never played but one game of ball in my life that I can remember on, and don't believe I ever will forget that. You see, it was along in the springtime of the year down higher on the farm, and the weather was nice and warm and sunshiny, and the boys were feeling a little bit ticklish with you. So I'd be, hey, help us play a game of baseball. <laughs> I said, I'll help you play one game. I'll be gosh dinged if I don't. So we got the bases and bats put around in their places, but I got to drink water up in the fence corner. Where I could drink when we wanted it. We didn't have any bleachers, but we had 30 or 40 hogs, and they were the best rooters you ever seen. <laughs> Well, we were just about to play one of the biggest billy goats i ever seen in all my born days. You ought to see the boys get out of the pasture. Well, I would have got up too, but I got stuck in the fence. <laughs> we ought to see the boys getting through the fence. Well, they didn't get me all the way through, but I was halfway through and got there. But that billy goat got me the last half through. There are many new hang fingled new games, but I wonder if you can find anything that can beat a game of baseball with a billy goat for a battery. If you can find one, I want to see it. Bunkoed again by chowder. <laughs> well, that is a very, very fast and condensed version of Uncle Josh plays a game of baseball. But it looks like it recorded nicely. And you got to see on the fly about adjusting the advance ball and everything. And I think our second half, we have a successful record. So it's pretty exciting because... You never see a studio recorder on YouTube anywhere. Well, there is a Rob Scallion video where I record a heavy metal band. So if you search for Wax Cylinder Heavy Metal Live Recording Session, well, it has millions of views. And that's pretty exciting. But it's kind of interesting. There are no videos of anybody making a 5-inch record. And this blank I made from scratch. As I said, the outside, it was a beaker, a glass beaker, and the inside is a, a unfinished uh, brass mandrel for a concert phonograph, which I had to do considerable reaming because brown wax shrinks about 2%. So I had to very carefully ream the inside of the record out 2%. I am eventually making an actual mold for this process and some tweaking. I'm going to make a better carriage to uh for recording with the concert or concert the uh studio recording head 
but I think this is the only time that anybody's made a studio recording on a 5-inch record. By the way, let's take a nice look at the machine total. It's a nice machine that you don't see too often. So we'll kind of zoom out on it. The Edison Concert Phonograph. So it's pretty exciting to see such a thing happen. So let's go for the playback, which will actually be on a graphophone machine. So now we're going to play back this self-made 5-inch cylinder record with warts and all. I'll play it from the beginning because I did a couple more experiments. Uh, I had trouble with, uh, of course, the weight being too much. And I had to change the belt tension for the last part of the record. And uh, so we'll see what happened. I didn't really have time to shave the cylinder because it takes forever to shave it. And it's pretty thin. So this is the first time I'm testing a self-made 5-inch blank. Here's where I started the video at for the recording okay, portion. you to get out there and vote, especially if you like President Trump. I do. I know that a lot of you who uh, like and collect photographs don't like President Trump, but I do because I don't like socialism. I think that it's, it is uh, a treasonous affair to combine socialist and communist and also national socialist uh, Democrat views, known as Nazi. I know everybody says, oh, well, that's uh, right wing. No, there's nothing right wing about the Nazis. Uh, they believed in gun control. They believed in uh, euthanasia of elderly and sick people and people who are uh, uh, mentally not capable of, of uh, you know, people who are a little slow, uh, mentally challenged, and uh, find this pretty sick. And... Uh, we just, uh, I just want to say, hey, vote for the person who's uh, going to try to attempt to keep this country going towards the Constitution. Uh, the anarchy we see in all the big cities is all uh, basically books out of Saul Alinsky, out of Saul Alinsky's playbook, Rules for Radicals. So, 
please do not vote socialist or national socialist democrat or democrat. It's a vote for either Nazism, communism, or socialism, which have never worked properly. Look at Venezuela. Look at Nazi Germany. Look at the uh, Soviets. Uh, China, you know, it, it's just bad stuff. So vote for freedom. Vote for Trump. Thank you.